everyone, it's Cal here and I've got a little bit of a different thing for you today. Now, there's this bloke, right, um, who makes beautiful, clean, tidy mini books and I have admired him from afar for quite a while. Uh, and I am quite sure that most of you know him. His name is Paul Ford. He's based in the UK in Wales and he does a lot of work with um, Cool Cats, for example, um, and various other um, crafty businesses. But he and I got talking one day and I like to think we've got a bit of a friendship and we were both kind of waxing lyrical about each other's books. And Paul came up with this really bright idea that he was going to make my Graphic 45 audition piece. And I thought, well, that's not very fair. I think I need to have a go at one of his. I've been meaning to do it for ages, but he's so clean and tidy and I'm not. I didn't think that maybe the two would match. But how wrong was I? So um, Paul's uh, done his... Uh, book which I will link to in the um, comment section you know the information bit below um, and also to his channel uh, where you can see all sorts of things and I'm also going to link in to the tutorial for this little beauty this is Paul's wallet album um, and I made it when I was down in Bristol uh, for a crop um, and literally just took me a couple of hours to make the decorating took a, a quite a bit longer so he's been very patiently waiting on me to, to get finished um, but I had so much fun so much fun so I want to show you what I've done with Paul's book so if you have a look at his wallet tutorial you'll see you'll see it in Paul's style clean tidy and then there's me more is more so needless to say I've used graphic 45 because why wouldn't I and this is the latest uh, deluxe um, co collection which is steampunk spells which is perfect for upcoming um, Halloween celebrations etc etc but even if you don't like Halloween to be honest with you it's such an utterly gorgeous um, collection that it really doesn't matter you can use it for anything at all now, where my book kind of start is different from um, from Paul's, I followed his instructions exactly, but then I put a shaker on the front because why wouldn't I? So if I just show you here, I've got a little bit of a shaker pocket going on there on the front. Um, now, the book itself, like you can see how clean and tidy this is. Uh, it's just so easy to put together. I've used um, construction tape on mine, so let me show you what it's like inside. So if I open this up on the top bit here, what you've got is um, a, a beautiful waterfall. So needless to say, ah, we've got a magnet. So if I open that up for you, you'll see that here you've got plenty of space um, for photographs. And then here I've just done lots of fussy cutting um, of these uh, beautiful um, flower images and I've used some of the stickers and cutter parts. So and, and I've then I've decorated the back of um, my belly band closure as well. Well, it's not belly band, is it? You know what I mean? So then I'm just turn this over. You see, this is the nice thing. It all kind of folds up so beautifully uh, on this page and the rest of um, these ones that kind of fold out. Uh, I've just put some white card as maybe a photo mat. And then on the front page here, I've just put a little tuck spot and a couple of the cut parts, which are just so cute. So they go in there like that. Then on the back of that, I've just put a little tuck spot here. But to be honest with you, that can just be a decoration for a big photo. On this side, once again, I've done exactly the same as I did on the previous one. Just a little tuck spot there with a couple of the cutter parts. And then you open that up. And on this side, exactly to match. So they are um, identical. And then we've got this flap in the middle, which I am now going to fold up that way. So here we've got... Lots of photo mats. This one also comes down there. So those are symmetrical and matching. And then in the middle here, what we've got is a photo mat that pulls out, which forms um, a closure for these two flaps here, right in the middle with the corner um, closures, the tuck spots. Then you open those up and you've got these two beautiful little uh, pockets here with uh, space for photographs there. Now this middle 
pocket is really deep so there's plenty of plenty of space in it and what I've done with mine is I have just added in lots of photo mats that I've made um, and um, some of the the cutter parts there that I've just put some white card on the back that you could put six by four photos on or do some journaling so that is my version of the Paul Ford um, wallet album like I said I will let you have the uh, instructions i'll put those um i'm not going to do that because it's all going to get squished i'll put those away in a minute um so that's uh that's yeah so i'll put i'll put the instructions all together it is the cutest cutest little album oh let's get it right gal let's hate more speed there we go it's the cutest little album it makes the most gorgeous gift if you want to make it for somebody um and mine's got a shaker all right, thank you for joining me today, everybody, and I will see you really soon. Um, no doubt Paul and I will uh, do something else in the near future, but do check out his um, YouTube and also his Facebook group, which is Paper Crafting with Paul. OK, take care, everybody. Bye bye.